When you start thinking mathematically, you unravel lies. Jesus died on a Friday. They said three days. Three days is 72 hours. He died on a Friday and was raised Sunday morning. You count the mathematics in that. See if you can get three days out of that. You don't even get two full days. Sherlock Holmes. It's elementary, my dear Watson. Heaven is in the sky. We talking about God, the man upstairs. Streets of gold up there. Hey, Doc. They just sent two contraptions to Mars. Right. 48 million miles from the Earth. They ain't seen no streets of gold. Where is it? How long would it take you to get there? What means of transportation would you use? Mathematics. Up in a turning universe. on a turning planet. So what's up now, 12 hours later, is down. So when heaven is up, it ain't talking about up off the ground. It's an elevated state of existence. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, you may be also. Where you going, Jesus? I'm going up. To be with who? My father. I'll be at his right hand. Well, that's, that's tough. You're going to be at the right hand of the Father? Do you know what the right hand means? It means that he becomes the executor of the thinking of the will of God. <clears throat> but he didn't go there by himself <clears throat> thinking about himself. He said, I go to prepare a place for you that the level that I'm on the level that I exist on and what level is that Jesus? He said all power was turned over into the hand of this man and the only one that he didn't have power over was his sender. And then he's telling us, come up, that where I am, you can hang out with me on that level. Now I'm gonna prove all of this before the day is over. See, we just gotta look into these books a little different. Look, in the transatlantic slave trade, the, uh, that transatlantic slave trade went on for 400 years. That's a long time. But that was trading in black bodies. Millions of blacks ripped away from Africa. That's still not 400 years in a strange land. 
among a strange people being afflicted every year that we were here. See, Jesus wasn't in, and his people wasn't in Palestine 400 years being afflicted by the Romans. Talk to me. Prophet Muhammad and his tribe were not in Arabia being afflicted for 400 years under a ruler like Pharaoh. They were not in no strange land. Prophet Muhammad was in Arabia where he was born. He spoke Arabic. He had his own name from birth. He just don't fit it. And you see what happens to scholarship when you try to fit what don't fit to make your scholarship come out right. Like Johnny Cochran said, if it don't fit, you must acquit. If it don't fit, don't try to force it. Look beyond it to see what God was talking about. He was talking about a new reality, a country fashioned out of Europe, a reality that was brought into existence, financed and made great because of the transatlantic bothering in human bodies. The history book says 1619. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us the first slaves came to America on a ship named Jesus in the year 1555. You remember that song we used to sing? You can have all this world. Just give me Jesus. The slaves used to wander down to the shore. And they wanted that ship that would take them back to their native land and people. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, little did they know that it would be 400 years before the real ship Jesus, the great Mahdi, God in person, would come after that people that were lost. Now, look at this. When God says, I will come. See, you a human being. God don't send spooks to get people that are alive. You're a human being. If you were an angel, the Quran says, I would have sent an angel after you. But you're not angel. You're a human being, so he sends one that looks like you. But he empowers that one to deliver you. The one that's acting is acting as an agent of the supreme power and has that supreme power. But he's a human being. If you look at Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, look at all the prophets. Their power came from the God that they worshiped. And they did things in the name of that God with his permission that ordinary human beings couldn't do. This Quran says, talking of the Messiah, I love to read this because every time I read it, 
I'm inspired by it, and I want to lay it as a foundation, too, because we're going after something today that I, I hope that Allah will bless me to get it over to you. Here, look at this. Now, this is talking about Mary and Jesus. Listen to this. And when the angel said, O oh Mary, surely Allah has chosen you and purified you and chosen you above the women of Allah. 